In this video, I'm going to give you an up close look at the Jaws Mac Daddy 5 wedges from Callaway. Even though they're a few months old, I just pulled them out and started putting them in play. I'm going to put these wedges to a few tests on the TrackMan from different distances, and I'm also going to just give you guys a close up look at some shots around the green. Okay, so apparently in the past they made a jaws wedge and it just tore the cover off of the golf ball so this one's a little easier on the golf ball but still just like the name sounds it bites into the golf ball and really makes this sucker spin so in between each major groove they have four positive micro grooves and so they protrude out of the face and you can really see how this would maximize the interaction between the club face and the ball and the whole idea is regardless of the condition you're playing out of, rough, uh, wet turf at all, if anything's getting in between the ball and the club face, it's still going to give you a whole heck of a lot of spin. Roger Cleveland says this is the most aggressive groove in golf, and this wedge will provide the most aggressive spin of any wedge on the market today. The Jaws MD5 has five different grinds this year. Depending on the type of player you are and the type of wedge shots you like to hit, you should choose your grind wisely. So this year there are two W grind wedges. One is the original high bounce wedge, just added bounce uh, and a little bit wider sole than last year. So you, high, you have the high bounce W grind, which is meant to be very forgiving in soft conditions. If you really hit down on the golf ball and you have a steep angle of attack, this is a good option for you. It's a lot like the sure out. In fact, Cleveland compared it to a sure out wedge. He just said it's a much better looking version of the sure out wedge. So this year the new grind is the low bounce W grind. So it's still a very wide sole, but it has a low bounce as it says in the name. You may consider the C grind wedge if you have a shallow angle of attack. You don't take much of a divot, but you like to open the face. They've got a little bit of relief bounce on the heel for that grind. If you don't like to open the wedge as much, and I typically don't open the wedge for a lot of my shots, the S-Grind is a good option. It's really popular on tour. Uh, this is the wedge that I prefer to play. Okay, now if you're steep and you like to be uh, aggressive and take a little bit of a divot with some of your pitch shots, but you also may like to open the face, the X-Grind is a good option for you. What's interesting is to, that they say that uh, it's really supposed to spin more in close uh, than other wedges. So specifically 20 to 30 yard wedge shots, you may see more spin than some of, other, some of the other wedges. We're 30 yards from the hole. I've got a track man to take some measurements. And in my right hand, I have a Callaway MD4 wedge that I've been playing with for 18 months. In my left hand, I have a brand new 2020 Callaway MD5 Jaws wedge. They're both 60 degree S grind wedges and they're both fit to my specs. I'm gonna give them five shots a piece and we're gonna see how they react. Uh, so I'm gonna do this experiment with some Callaway Chrome Soft X golf balls. We will start with the 60 degree MD4, my old wedge, and we're gonna hit middle trajectory pitch shots. I've also got a side sloping green a little bit to our right. So I'm going to aim just a touch to the left. I'm thinking about 25 yards of carry, maybe 23 yards of carry for each of these shots. Here we go with the first five. Okay, that was, that was pretty clean picked, came off a little bit low but a decent shot overall. I caught a little bit too much of that one, so it flew on me. Also a little bit of a low launch, which is typical for me. I tend to launch all of my shots a bit lower, but my mid trajectory may be a little different than your mid trajectory. That was a pretty solid shot about what I wanted to hit. I pushed it just a smidge. The trajectory was a little more practical for this shot. Okay, 
A very clean contact on that one. It came up just a little bit short, kind of softened up on it, but not a bad shot. That one was a slight drop kick, so I caught it just a bit before the golf ball. That might actually increase the spin, we'll see. Just for kicks, let's go up there and take a look. So as you can see, everything funneled to the right. We knew that this green slopes pretty severely left to right. I was looking about here at this feather and expecting release to the right. So the majority of those shots were pretty solid. You can see four out of five were here within 10 feet. And then I had an outlier where I caught a little too much of it and it's more like 30 feet beyond the flag. We're going to have a look here at the MD4, the old wedge. And we're going to see that we are, we're again hitting a 30 yard shot. On average, I carried it 25 yards. The total traveled was 31 and a half yards. The total spin was 5,200 RPMs. Okay, now we're 30 yards and we are going to use the Jaws wedge. Uh, same 60 degree S grind as I have in the MD4. And I'm going to hit five in a row. Try to fly them around 23 to 25 yards. Middle trajectory shot. Okay, that was a groove low that launched very low and spun quite a bit. It visibly bit. That one also had a good amount of visible bite on it. Struck pretty solid. I bounced it well. Fairly low launch. Okay, shot number three. That was clipped real nice and clean. It landed a little short of the hole and spun right. Shot number four. Well, I could hear that one grabbed. Also landed about on line with the pin and then spun a little bit right. And shot number five. No, I pushed it. That was operator error. Let's go have a look on the green. So a little tighter pattern, I would say, out of the five. Pretty darn good. All looking about 10 feet. Uh, including the one that I miss hit a bit thin. Pretty good. This was the brand new Jaws wedge, the MD5. You'll see that the average carried 25.2 yards. The total 31 yards. It's definitely a beautiful night for some wedge testing. From 30 yards, I wasn't really sold on the idea that I would need brand new grooves. I saw some check on both. I felt like I hit some decent shots with both of them. And uh, let's back it up and see if it's much different. Okay, now we're at 77 yards. We're gonna do the same thing and see how big the difference is in spin. Let's start with the MD4, last year's wedge. This one I'm gonna expect, we have fairly soft greens, I'm gonna to try to fly it pretty close to the number and see what we get. Didn't get a reading? All right, we'll try that again. 77 yards. I think that was probably a little shy. Yeah, that carried 68 and a half yards. I'm gonna to try to hit the next few a little bit harder. That one also felt like it came off a little bit soft. Yeah, that carried 70, uh, 67 yards. I guess I've got my 70 yard number dialed, but I need to step it up. 
Well, we'll get a good number for 70 anyway. Now we'll just roll with the punches to keep the experiment as consistent as possible. Yeah, I'm averaging just under 70 yards, so we'll just keep going with it. We missed the reading. One more ball, one more try. Let's see if we can get it. Well, what the heck, technical difficulties. I hit six shots and got four readings, but we'll still get a good idea because they were all struck pretty similarly, so I think that's good enough to take an average with. We'll go up here and take a look. I expect all these to be a couple of steps short because we were 77 yards from the flag. All of these were landing at 70. Not a bad pattern. Don't forget to repair your ball marks. Well, we're looking at the 70 yard shot. This is with the old wedge. We're seeing an average carry of 68 and a half. And we're seeing a spin rate of 8,100 RPMs, almost 8,200. Next up, we'll try the Callaway Jaws wedge. Hey, we're still at 77 yards and we're going to hit this one with the Callaway Jaws 60 degree wedge. Uh, I'm going to try to carry it the same 70 yards just so we have an easier comparison. They'll land short of the hole just looking to make uh, similar numbers so that we can compare the spin rates. That one's super clean and it probably only flew about 65 yards. That was a little better overall. That one carried 77.1. That was a little more like the first batch of wedges that carried 68.4. Okay, that was well struck. That carried 73 yards. Okay, pretty good one online there. Carried 71.4 yards. I'm going to hit one more because we're going to throw out the outliers. That one was maybe a touch soft, 67 yards. That one carried 71.1 yards. So we'll throw out the ones that went 65 yards and 77 yards. I'd say lesser distance control, but a decent linear pattern. But that's more me swinging than the wedge itself. Okay, for our Jaws wedge, also carrying it an average of about 70 yards, 70.2. We've got an average of 8,000 RPMs of spin. Okay, we're now at 100 yards, so we're going to hit three shots per club. We're still going to hit both 60 degree wedges, the MD4 and the jaws up against one another, and we'll see what happens to that spin rate. First from 100 yards, the MD4. This is a full swing wedge for me. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. It carried 99.3.
Okay, also pretty good. I tugged it a little, 98.3 yards. That may be considered an outlier. I pulled it quite a bit. It went 104. I'm going to hit one more just to see if we can get a better measurement. When you hit it with a closed face, that can reduce the spin a touch. That one carried 99.1. Looks like the carry on average was 97 yards. The total on average was 100 yards. Uh, the spin rate I think got skewed. I must have hit a shot outside of Trackman's view because a 60 degree wedge really shouldn't spin 4,700 yards at this distance. Uh, so let's just average and say it was 8,300. We're gonna get three shots with the 60 degree jaws wedge. Okay, that carried 97 and a half yards. That one carried 98.2 yards. That one carried 95. 99.1. This was the Jaws wedge. Carry distance was 97 and a half. Uh, average uh, carry and total and the spin rate jumped up over 10,000 which is what I would expect uh, we had two that were about 95 and 9800 and then one shot that was spinning at 11,000 so uh, take that with a grain of salt as well now I'm just gonna hit some shots and show you these things in action Not too shabby. Here's a good look at what these grooves look like. You can see that there's some grass that's settled in between a couple of the grooves. Every time I hit a wedge shot, I'm gonna wipe that sucker off. I'm gonna get the dirt, I'm gonna get the grass, I'm gonna get that all out of the groove so I have the best chance to spin it. Now, before each hole starts or after I uh, reach the green more accurately, I'm going to mark it and clean my ball off so that I don't have any dirt, grass, debris on the outside of my ball that could affect the interaction between the club face and the ball on the next hole. You give yourself the best chance by cleaning off your wedge face. So 
So let's see some of these land. So I'll tell you that quite frankly, I've been filming this video for about four weeks. Uh, I tried different shots, I lost footage, I did testing indoors and outdoors, and quite frankly, I didn't see a huge difference that I could measure in spin rate from the MD4 to the MD5. So what that tells me is that both wedges are great. Uh, even after some use, there's still some life in the old wedges and some life in the, uh, the grooves, so they still are very spinny. And um, that doesn't mean that these aren't the most aggressive grooves and the most spin on the market today, but just in my testing, which is somewhat limited and involves some human error, I didn't see a huge difference between the two. It also doesn't mean I didn't love the wedges. Get a demo from the golf shop and see if they'll let you test it out around the chipping green uh, or take it out on the golf course perhaps. Get out to a Callaway demo day uh, to drop by one of the super stores and pick up a wedge and hit some shots and test it for yourself. They've really thought about everybody when they developed these different grinds. Uh, the face is certainly designed to give as much spin as is legal under the USGA guidelines. You know, it's just a great wedge that I'm gonna continue to play it as I have for the last four or five seasons now. As always, I appreciate you taking your valuable time to watch my content. I realize that there's a lot of good stuff out there and thank you, thank you, thank you for taking your valuable time to watch mine. I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to leave a comment. Go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can see more videos in the future. Thanks so much, and have a great day.